Right, we've got a speaker from the university now, from the Students' Union at the university. Please can we welcome Jimbo Yu. Thank you. Good afternoon, Norwich. First of all, I'd like to bring the greetings and solidarity from students at the University of East Anglia. My name is Imbo Yu, and I am the Activity and Opportunity Officer at Student Union of UEA. Students are feeling the effects of austerity. Just like ordinary people anywhere, we have been made to suffer the sins of the rich. Tuition fees have trebled in the last five years. Bursaries and scholarships to help poor kids go to university are under threat, such as government's recent attempt to scrap the disabled students' allowance. The teaching grants have been cut, shifting the burden to individuals and turning education into a commodity. We believe that education is a right, not a privilege. This is a right that is under attack. Just one of many rights fought for by students and working people that find itself currently under attack by this government. Further than that, education is a social good. We all benefit from doctors, teachers, and other qualified professionals. Yet, in the, ruling, uh, in the eyes of ruling elite, you should only have these opportunities if you can pay for it or are willing to be saddled with years' worth of debt. But what can we do to stop this? By standing together as workers and students. To celebrate May Day is to celebrate that union, one which has a long and proud history. From the strikes in support of students in France 1968, to the student groups that supported workers during minor strike. Our movement has a long and proud history of supporting one another in our struggles. At UEA, we have shown the benefits of solidarity through our living wage campaign, where the student union and the unison have worked together to campaign for a fair deal for the lowest paid worker our institution. The university's position is that to pay the living wage would be financially unviable. But how can it be financially unviable to give your cleaners fair pay for hours work, which would cost £200,000, when you have 17 staff on six-figure salaries? I just want to talk about one more thing. I think you have may already noticed my accent. I wasn't born here in the UK. I came here to study from China and have been elected as the university's first Chinese full-time union representative. And as an international student, we are already expected to pay extortionate fees to study here. And often we feel like we are treated like little more than cash cows. If that is not bad enough, international students are now expected to pay a health surcharge as our part of our applications. I think that is disgraceful that we are accepted to study here, but pay an average of £35,000 per student and expected to pay extra to have access to NHS services, that should be a right, regardless of the race or where you come from. It's just another example of this government's agenda to further privatise and commodify the things in this, people in this country have fought for. The rise of UKIP has led to a normalization of anti-immigrant rhetoric, and many students like me are increasingly feeling unwelcome in the UK. The rest of the mainstream parties competing with each other on who can be more harsh to foreigners like me and are contributing to a culture of hostility and suspicion towards us. The post-study work visa was already scrapped in 2012, and the government recently proposed that we should be kicked out immediately after graduation. This is just another example of immigrants like myself use as scapegoat for the crisis. Was it me who caused the economic crisis? Was it the UEA's Chinese students who are slashing jobs and causing unimaginable pain to the very poorest in our society, suffering under austerity? We need to stand together against the racism and demand the end of scapegoating whoever is elected. I mentioned earlier the importance of solidarity. 
and that's why the student union at UEA is working with the Norfolk People's Assembly to send coaches to no more austerity demonstration in London on the 20th of June. And I urge you all to book your place on the demonstration, on the transport, and this is solidarity in action. And please support us, and we will support you. And together, we can win. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was Yimbo Yu from the UEA Student Union. Thank you so much for coming to speak. Well, we've got some very special music now.